Hey guys, it's the blogger here. Gonna do a real quick tutorial on how to hide a link on your blog or website. Uh, sorry if my voice is a bit raspy today. I guess some random allergy is hitting me. But anyways, by the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to create a, a simple link that uh, is hosted on your site that is really simple in structure and will actually take someone to an affiliate site like uh, like an affiliate link would. We'll use this Aweber link as an example and uh, that's actually my link and we're going to start off on Dreamy site which is a, a simple niche review site we built in a YouTube tutorial not too long ago. So let's take a look at a blog post to see exactly what's going on and I'm going to copy this link and as we go through I'll mention uh, some reasons why it's good to hide your links and uh, I'll go pretty quick to keep this keep this moving but just feel free to post a comment with any questions so depending on where you want to put your link um, you know I usually like to put it on the the product itself so let's just insert a link and open in a new tab and let's look at the text tab so we really know what's going on so this is what you don't want to do. Um, you don't want some confusing um, end link in here. Uh, when Google sees this, they don't look at it very kindly. It's confusing. Um, what they'd rather see are links that are on your own site. Like in this case, it would be on dreamysite.com. So additionally, let's say Aweber changed the structure and said we want, oh, we want our affiliate links to just have numbers in them. Then you'd have to find every article you published with this link and change it. So you want to have a simple link like this that's just served up from your site. So obviously this link right now would go nowhere. Um, this page doesn't exist and it, it would just basically take someone to a, an error message. So let's let's change that. Now a really easy way to do it is to use a plugin which uh, I mentioned on the toolbox post so that plugin is this one and it's good for doing redirects like redirecting one page or post to another place and uh, you might have used this before I'm just gonna download it and uh, I really think it should be called quick page post link redirect because we're gonna use it for a link so now that we've downloaded the redirect plugin, we want to upload it to the blog. Hit install now, as usual. Then activate it. Here's our plugin we just installed. And if we go back to our posts. So to use the plugin to redirect your simple link to an affiliate link you actually create a new post. This new post is just going to serve as a link. It's not going to be an actual blog post, but we could call it something like Aweber redirect. So we remember it when we look at it in our list of posts. Doesn't need to say anything, but we can see the link here is exactly like we want. And we're going to redirect this to the affiliate link. Copy that and we'll make it active, set it there, set it to 302 temporary which is the most common type of redirect and we're gonna leave these other things blank for now just for the sake of simplicity so because we don't want this to be an actual post we can change the visibility to private great so now when someone would visit this they would actually be taken to this because this link is being redirected via 302 redirect to the Aweber link but let's try it out so this is our Aweber review not too much to see here yet I'm not sure it'd be a very good review but when someone clicks this link they go through the redirect and they'll actually go to Aweber so that much is working if someone clicked it and then signed up um, you or I would earn an affiliate commission and and that would be mission accomplished but we're not quite there yet to hide this link so that the Google robots wouldn't see it 
you could just add a rel equals no follow and that would do the trick right there so that's the easy way to hide a link and redirect it from your site there's one slight problem and that's that if the plugin is acting up this link could take a while to work which means that when someone clicks it in your awesome review they might be left right here for too long and that can be sketchy or send someone away you could probably imagine you want your affiliate links clicking through as quick as possible so I'll show you how to do that right now so we're actually going to go into our control panel for dreamy site uh, in order to do that I found our account info from HostGator when we first signed up and uh, you might have seen this in uh, the dream website video I'm gonna copy the password and open up our link and again any questions just toss them in the comments and uh, myself or someone from the community can help with any anything regarding these links alright so now that you're in control panel scroll down to file manager and make sure to show hidden files and hit document root and then hit go so we're gonna make an edit first to dot ht access and what this is going to accomplish is exactly what this plugin did ht access is an overwrite file but it's also really good for making redirects and to show you that it's going to work I'm actually going to deactivate that plugin real quick just deactivate and then to edit this one just click edit when you're highlighted on HD access and it just says we should back it up which we will so scroll down to where it says begin WordPress and uh, I guess we'll actually back up the whole file into a new post-it note just in case anything goes wrong I don't think it's going to and then to accomplish the same thing that plugin did with the 302 redirect you want to write redirect 302 backslash the link we want um, this just means uh, yoursite.com backslash aweber and then the link itself and just paste that in um, for future reference you could do this for as many links as you want as many redirects as long as it's right after begin wordpress and before end wordpress and then save changes great we didn't break anything so our job isn't quite done we still have to hide this link from the search robots so that when google crawls the site they don't see a lot of affiliate links so we'll go back to file manager and this time we're going to edit robots.txt and some themes in wordpress don't come with them so we can just create a new file called robots.txt I'm going to select it and edit and it should just be a blank file so to do this you write out user agent you use a star to denote all robots um, then just write disallow backslash aweber and hit save changes now we go back to our review article and refresh and our link is working a bit slower than it should again we're gonna blame that on internet um, you'll hopefully have quicker times which should lead to more commissions and a smoother experience for your readers but now we have two ways of hiding a link from Google search bots and you can manage everything from your control panel now you won't have to go in and look at 10 different links if your affiliate program changes or if you want search engines to follow the link for whatever reason. That's all I got right now, so I'll see you next time. So there's three things involved in a website. There's three things involved in a website. So there's three things involved in a website and and that makes no sense.